Oh wait, it's Nachi. It's called Tiger Woods. <laughs> House. This is what we install them today. Sport, motorsport. It's the short shifter thing. Oh damn! Yeah. So I want you to drive the car normal, and then we'll install it, and then to see if there's any difference. Oh, is it broken in already? Yeah. All right. I don't know when George got here, but so today we have Parker test out the GR Corolla normal. I already driven this. You haven't driven it like driven, driven. <laughs> you got into first gear. That's it. Yeah, true. Well, that's all that you saw. <laughs> I done a lot more. Though. I did see a couple more miles on it after I picked it up. <laughs> Damn. Damn! That sounded a little crunchy, I ain't gonna lie to you. Definitely needs a short shifter. <laughs> that one, yeah, that, that's the problem. <laughs> no, my manual's rusty. What's this? Why'd you touch it like that? I was just feeling it. <laughs> so basically, you turn it one way, 30, 70. Obviously, 30. Oh. 70 yeah and then you push it down that's 50 50 track mode 50 50 and then to the left is 60 40. What's initial impression being serious being real serious i love this thing it feels good it's a little bit um underpowered no it's fast like it's definitely quick mm. but it, it doesn't scare me it's yes like, it, it yeah. it's not one of those cars that you're like whoa like this shit actually might I might actually lose control of this. Mm -hmm. Just flooring it, it's like, eh, it's kind of whatever. Yeah. It's not what it's meant for. Exactly. You know? But it does haul ass, mm -hmm. for sure. So what you know about this thing? Yeah, look at right. See right there? Uh -huh. That's not good. That's not good? That's not good. Right? Well, what would you recommend I do about it? And I think I think it's because of him. Yeah, probably it up. So in order to do the short shifter, we have to take out this air box, and it's right underneath. It's The linkage is down there. See, the thing is, I have an intake coming. We could have done both at the same time, but they're taking forever to send out the intake. So. I'm a little impatient, so we're just gonna do the short shifter today. All right, let's see. Ah. <laughs> don't throw that. <laughs> yeah, we don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, this is not gonna be a very detailed install, but if there's anything that we can help with or we can recommend, we'll let you guys know. There you go. Mm. Easy as that. Nice. Mm. All right, we just took this one off. All right, so I guess quick you little pressure fitting. Nice. Boom. Right now we're just gonna unbolt this clamp, and uh, we'll show you after. If your clamp is all the way back here, we definitely recommend taking the top off the intake, so then you have a little more leverage to get to that back screw for the clamp. There you go. Not wrong. Easy as that. Oh, can you move it? I want to see how it looks. That's pretty cool. All right, George. What's next? Don't pull the pin. And oh. 10. All right, what's next? Nine, eight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we got the coupling all set up, and I guess this is where you adjust your throw. This pin is either going to move left or right, and the closer to the cylinder side, that's the longer throw, and then the other side is shorter throw. So I think we're just going to put it right in the middle because it's already short. It's not going to, yeah, you know what I mean? Go too crazy with it. Yeah. All right, so now you pop that whole assembly onto this that rod. It was on there, turning it. And then you get the what is that, the clip? The retaining clip. Mm -hmm. There you go, nice little click. Now go underneath. And then, yeah, straight, exactly like that. There you go. And then that's when the red piece comes in and sits flush on top of there. Center. <coughs> there you go. Now you're gonna take what clip? Little bobby pin? Yeah. That's all secured and you're ready to start reinstalling all of the OEM parts. All right, so everything's installed now. And let's see. Oh wait, it's notchy. Really? That feels so nice. Bro, try it. Dude, it feels so nice. Like I'm not even exaggerating for the video. Like it's it's actually pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah. Right? Oh wow. That's what I'm saying. That's short, dude. You like it? Yeah. It's too short. No, I like it like that. It's notchy. Yeah. Dude, for 85 bucks, you can't beat that. So we're just gonna get everything buttoned up and we're obviously we're just do everything in reverse. We're just gonna do that right now. And uh, we're gonna go for a quick spin, see if there's a huge difference when you're driving compared to just sitting out here, shifting gears. First initial thoughts, it's definitely shorter. Uh, second to third feels a little weird, but I think that's just like, you have to get used to it. But other than that, I think this is well worth $85. Like. How much was that uh, other shifter you tried? The short shifter? The RTD shifter? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's probably at least a thousand dollars, honestly. Yeah, no, it's expensive. Maybe it's maybe it's like six hundred, but still. S yeah, six hundred or eighty-five bucks. Like that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is nice. All right, Parker. Wow. Right? That's beauty, mates. Do you think? Do you recommend putting it in the middle? 
like yeah. the uh, adjustment? I think, it, I think it could be. I mean, like you can make it short if you really want to, but yeah. I think it'd be too short. Mm -hmm. This feels really nice. This is how it should have came. Like a lot of people say this, but how it came from the factory. Yeah, it was a little bit too long. Yeah, but it wasn't sloppy at first. But no, now it feels very tight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you can let out the clutch a lot faster too because mm -hmm. of how quickly it actually shifts to yeah. the next gear. That was the other thing. Like I was I felt like I had to clutch it really slow to get into the next gear because it was such a long throw. Yep. Now it's like it goes immediately into gear and I can let the clutch out like way faster. George actually has the luxury of driving this car after the short shifter, so he doesn't really know <laughs> how it feels from factory. <laughs> <laughs> this shifter is what I would like to call simply lovely. Mm -hmm. What am I looking at right now? This guy has like 20 mirrors on his motorcycle. Yeah. Alright, so I think that's the end of this video. I highly recommend $85. You can't go wrong with this thing uh, to definitely clean up your shifts. Um, yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll catch you on the next one once the, uh, what is it? The intake comes in. We'll do another video with that. All right, catch y'all. Cheers. Cheers, mate.